So let's move on. As I promised, I'm about to show you how I do my keyword research on Pinterest. And I'll show you um, the latest Pinterest hack I discovered this morning, which allows me to see uh, the monthly search volume for the keywords on Pinterest. So everybody knows how we do Pinterest keyword research. Uh, we just we just make um, we just enter a keyword, and then we see some keyword suggestions from Pinterest. Just like Google keyword shows you some suggestions, and if you want to see uh, something more specific, or let's call it a long term. Oh, sorry, long tail keyword. Uh, we just uh, click on one of the keywords, and here you go. You see a longer keyword: uh, vegan health uh, recipes, healthy dinner, um, vegan recipes breakfast, etc. If you click here, you will see even longer keyword suggestions. So why would you do this? Uh, that you you probably hear that uh, for 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 Google uh, search engine optimization. Uh, people uh, with new bloggers with completely new blogs that don't have authority yet, they're recommended to start um, writing content around long tail keywords because these keywords, since they're longer, they're already targeting very specific audience that is looking for a specific something. And then also, in since these keywords are longer, there is less audience and this, there is less crowd around these keywords and there are not so many competitors, so basically it's easier to compete. Um, it doesn't count, uh, we're not talking here about in, in detail about uh, commercial keywords because it can be a long tail keyword, but if it's commercial then the competition will be still high. But in general, if a keyword is a long tail keyword, it's supposed to be less competitive, right? So um, that's why people would do this. But on Pinterest, usually, um, when people start thinking about what kind of content to write um, uh, for the blog. So they're recommended to look at the first keywords from left to right because in the descending order, supposedly these keywords are ordered. So you have the most popular keywords on the left side. Mm. So that's, that's what I've been doing up until this morning. And, and also as an additional tool, I would usually go, uh, if, if some keyword is particularly interesting for me and I want to make additional research on it, I would use a Google uh, keyword planning tool. Um, I will not go into detail how you log into Google AdWords and then you just uh, uh, put the location, the language and you just insert the keyword. Um, don't forget that when you do this, um, even if you're using more specific keywords tools, uh, more specific than the Google Planner tool, uh, more, more, more precise, more accurate keyword research tools like this Keyword Finder, for example, I'm actually using, you see, um, I'm just using the free version of it, so I'm allowed to make five searches per day. Usually that's enough for me, but since today I'm, I've got so excited about this uh, a thing on Pinterest, so I made too many searches and I'm not able to show you more precise results. But overall, when even they even even if they're more precise, you're still looking at the at the search volume for for Google, right? So you you're just assuming that Pinterest must have similar audience, but the audience is different on Pinterest. Uh, and also, don't forget that Pinterest audience is mostly mobile audience, so. The search is different. It's visual search, uh, search engine, right? So I suppose that the keywords should work differently. And I wouldn't just assume that whatever works well on, on Google, it will uh, apply automatically to Pinterest. And so that, that has been um, an issue with Pinterest uh, keyword research, that you never were able to see the, the exact numbers or at least the approximate numbers of search volume. And we also assume that uh, these keywords are ordered from left to right. I never had a chance to check this information. I just watched numerous uh, tutorials about Pinterest and everybody said that from left to right these keywords are the most popular on the left and so you have to trust it. So what I found uh, this morning, I was just uh, looking at my account and um, once in a while, I just uh, think to myself, 
uh, that it's such a pity I'm not uh, in one of uh, of the countries where Pinterest allows, uh, where Pinterest ads are eligible. I live in Portugal, so um, uh, Pinterest ads are available only in um, in the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the, in the in the United Kingdom at the moment. So I was never. Um, uh, looking into into any details about ads and and this morning uh, what uh, caught my attention it was this early access and new um this signs that that caught my attention so i thought wow maybe pinterest made it available for me so i just started uh i just started exploring the tool and i realized that the tool is available Almost everything is available except the last step that I cannot add my billing details because I don't have credit cards from one of these countries. So everything else is working. So anyone, if you even are not planning to make any uh, paid campaigns on Pinterest, you can use this tool. So what I did, I just started creating a, a campaign. I just went to get traffic to your website and then um, create a new traffic campaign. So I just put any number here, let it be $3. Um, they asked me to put campaign name. I'll put vegan since I'm talking about vegan stuff lately. Um, uh, campaign placement. I will not change the default settings. They're not recommending it and it's not the point here. That's not the, the point of my video. So now once I get in, inside the details of this uh, ad campaign, I was just scrolling around, wandering around, uh, scrolling down and up and down, and I found this interesting keyword research tool that here I could just put a keyword, which I think is popular, but I could also make a search here, and I could see the... Hola. <laughs> you see? So I'm looking at, at the numbers that are pretty... pretty pretty interesting right so I can scroll down and down and I'm seeing over a million and what does it show us it shows us monthly um, monthly searches for these keywords so once I, first of all I was very excited to see that finally I have access to these numbers even though they don't seem very accurate to me because everything you know like everything is above 1 million rarely something uh, below 1 million but so many numbers, everything is above and, and there is nothing above 2 million or 3 million. You know, like it seems like they, they're trying to, to push um, their advertising tools um, because they're preparing, I hear, for, I, for an IPO, uh, Pinterest, I mean the company. So maybe they're trying to popu uh, make their uh, advertising uh, tools more popular. Uh, so maybe they're just pushing it a little bit too early. Well, that hence the early access sign, right? So I don't know how many people except me are seeing this. Um, I hope that a lot of you, because I I don't want you to be angry at me that I have it and you don't, and because I I also advertise this as a Pinterest hack, and then if you don't have access to it, then what the heck, <laughs> right? And um, but. But look at this also, another thing that I found interesting, and I talked about it already, that we assume that they are ordered in a descending order from left to the right according to their popularity. And then when I was looking at vegan, um, how was it? Just vegan, and then the first keyword was lifestyle. And then there were recipes, breakfast, blah, 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 blah. So when I look at this tool here, I don't find anything with the lifestyle. I don't see any lifestyle uh, on top of searches, so it looks like it looks like there are so many keywords that were neglected, and I just assumed that these first ten keywords over here they will be the most popular, and so I should work around these keywords. And I just I just realized how much potential uh, Pinterest um, search engine optimization has it for me now because of this tool because now <laughs> uh, I realize that there are so many other keywords that, that I didn't pay attention to them you see these pancakes cheese cookies all of them have over a million key, uh, uh, over a million um, search volume 
per month. So I'm just going to, to work uh, on the other keywords which I didn't pay attention to. And I also believe that since since so many people um, uh, and up until now were working on these first keywords from, from the left side, these keywords, they, they were they were maybe they are popular uh, and one of the reasons might be because so many people are working on content for these keywords and there is so much competition as well so now I'm thinking that if I start working on other keywords which are also popular you see they're also above 1 million searches uh, a month so if I start working uh, on other keywords which are not yet exploited so much in bloggers content maybe I'll have more chances on uh, getting traffic to those keywords because there are not so many pins yet around these keywords right okay so that's my discovery for today and I have uh, I hope that it, it helps you as well to make more more money on your blog um, so I, I also wanted to to share with you that I'm currently working on my Pinterest course that uh, I hope to be available for the, the same as here, early access um, within a couple of weeks from now. So if you feel that you're not getting anywhere with your current Pinterest strategy, or you don't have any strategy at all, and you're just pinning your new pins and you're hoping that you'll get traffic someday, then my course will help you a lot. Uh, you see, my blog is just one year old, and I started with a new Pinterest account with zero followers, and I managed to get over 170,000 page views to my blog from Pinterest in January 2018, last month. Uh, so I've got several bonus secrets uh, in my course, which you'll not find in any other Pinterest courses. Um, so if you are interested and you'd like to be among the first people who get early access at a discounted price, please send me an email and I'll let you know when the course is ready. See you around.